Let me take a sip of my tea. <coughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel. Sorry for the delay in videos. I have been sick. I was extremely sick. I literally could not speak. I just realized that I'm gonna dye my hair and uh, I always dye my hair after I had been sick. It's almost like a tradition now. <laughs> Whatever, I actually got inspired by one of you guys. If you didn't know, I have started my vlogmas vlogs on my second channel. So I'm making one video every single day where you guys can just hang out with me and um, see what I do on a regular basis. If you wanna check that out, please do. But in that video, one of you guys actually told me that you dyed your hair red because you got inspired by moi. And that inspired me. And also because it's Christmas probably, but uh, yeah. I have done this exact hair color before, but I think that it's gonna look better now when I have longer hair. So we are gonna do fire hair. <laughs> I don't know. I just made that up. It's not really called fire hair, but it's gonna look like a fire So we're gonna start off with red Going to orange and then yellow on the tips. I always go in with the pants bleach This is a Swedish brand, but they have vegan bleaches, which is amazing If you do not have this brand, you can go ahead and use the bleach please from Arctic Fox. It is so, so good. Then for the hair color, I have used the Arctic Fox Poison before and I absolutely loved it. I think that I literally only have like this much left of this color, so I need a refill for sure. That would be the perfect red in my opinion. Other than that, I'm gonna go in with Sunset Orange and Cosmic Sunshine. I have this Neon Guava from Lunar Tides, but it looks a little bit too light almost. But then I also have blood moon but that is almost like too dark then i also have the maria nila called bright red maybe i should go in with that honestly we'll see but before we go in with the hair color we're obviously going to bleach it so let me get the bleach ready one second and here we have it i said that i was gonna mix the bleach but what i obviously mean is the bleach bath and i have a video on this but i use bleach half of the package half of the um activator put in some number one olaplex and then i put in some shampoo of any sort really and here we have it it literally will i used literally way too often this mixture will literally bleach it like one or two shades so this is only for people that are already blonde i would say which i am and only needed to be bleached so these colors can stick to it now let's put this in my roots i'm well aware that you should not start at the top but that is what I'm gonna do. As soon as I see my sleeve like this, I'm just like, is that me? Am I that cool? Oh, best decision I've ever made. But it's not done yet, obviously, but soon. Okay, let me put this in my hair and we'll see each other soon. The bleach is now in my hair and I just wanted to show you guys what I mean when I say that the bleach bath will only bleach one or two shades. Here you guys can see where I started. It has bleached my hair into like this very nice blonde golden shade. But here you can see that I just put it and it's still this like darker blonde. And this is like the perfect shade for me. I am back and here is how the roots are looking now. This is bright red from Maria Nila. Ooh, that's a really pretty red actually. I just opened up Neon Guava and uh, this is not at all what I want. I would say that it's more like an orange. And now let's watch Blood Moon. Okay. 
So the Maria Nila is much more like a pink red and Blood Moon is like a red red. I'm gonna go in with Blood Moon. Let's start then. How much red should I go for? Should I go down here maybe? I think I'm gonna do the entire bang area. So I mean down to here at least I think. <laughs> Gorgeous. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited about this. More than a woman. Okay, I have now done the red all over the roots. <laughs> Oh my god, this is kind of hard. Okay, I'm gonna try and lay my hair to how it would lay normally. Whew. All right, the hard part is now done and now comes the messy part, but the part that I am the best at, <laughs> that is using my hands. Let's start with Sunset Orange. If you're a hairdresser, if Brad Mondo watches this, which I've tried to get him to notice me for so long. How can he not want to watch a fun Swede like me? <laughs> it's probably because I'm not fun. <laughs> okay, sad. More than a woman, do 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 do. More than a woman to me. Why does it look like the exact same color? I think I want just a very tiny bit of yellow as I'm kind of bored of it <laughs> now. So let's do it to there, maybe? And there we go! I mean, oh, I'm gonna look so cool, I think, at least, hopefully. Now for the easy part, and that is to just put some of the Cosmic Sunshine. I always mix Cosmic Sunshine and Sunset Orange up. Oh, just look at this. Ugh, yum. We're just gonna put this on the tips. There, you guys can see it. So I'm gonna try and <laughs> mix these a little bit. It's quite a big jump from this dark orange to yellow. At least it looks like. I think that I've gotten a bit of blue moon in this as well because this is looking way darker than I remember it to be. <laughs> I probably should have gone in with a little bit more uh, yellow and a little bit less orange, I think. And there we have them um, finally done. I'm gonna have this on for maybe like an hour or so and then I will be back when I've rinsed it out. <laughs> oh my god, I am so hot. Let's uh, dry our hair. All right, there we go. I put on this headband just to force my bangs down because I am thinking that we are gonna cut the bangs. So why I wanna cut them is because they are hiding my eyebrows, which I don't like. I like people to see my eyebrows. So let's take my scissor. I wanna cut quite a lot off. So much better already. And there we have it, the finished result. What do we think? Obviously it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to be because there's no yellow here. <laughs> But I would say that the part that was supposed to be yellow is the orange shade that I wanted. Like, can you tell? It's more like a true, true orange shade. 
the root color that I have and in the bangs is just the prettiest freaking shade but I wouldn't say that I love this color here it looks a little bit dull somehow almost a little bit pinkish like corally not a huge fan of that so I will probably re-dye it I feel so cute and my hair is so long <gasps> I cannot wait to curl it. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out my vlogmas if you are interested. Uh, subscribe, like this video. It really helps me out. And we will see each other in the next video. Bye, guys.